Welcome to the webinar. We'll get started shortly. Before we begin, here's how to earn CPE credit. Unlike traditional CPE webinars, there are no polling questions or attendance checks during the presentation. Instead, you will demonstrate your knowledge by taking a brief multiple choice quiz in the Earmark app. Search for the free Earmark app from the App Store or Google Play Store or scan the QR code on the screen. Open the app and create an account. Be sure to use a valid email address because we'll email you your CPE certificates. From the home screen, scroll down to find the course. You can also tap the magnifying glass icon to search for the course. Tap on the course artwork, then the enroll button. On the course tab, you'll find the recording and quiz questions. If you don't see the quiz yet, don't worry. We'll email you when the quiz is available. Complete the quiz to earn your CPE certificate. If you have questions or need help, email us anytime at support at earmarkcpe.com. Now, on to the webinar. Hello, and welcome Thanks. to today's webinar, Implementing Collaborative Accounting for Client and Team Success. Um, my name is Joel. I am from the Earmark team, and I'm going to introduce our host today, Laura Green from FreshBooks. And I, with that, I'm going to turn it over to her for today's webinar. Thank you, Joel. Hello and welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We are so excited to be presenting in partnership with Earmark webinars. Uh, today's webinar is all about getting real, getting practical. It is about implementing collaborative accounting for clients and team success. So I would like to introduce myself, Laura, but also to my two amazing panel guests, Rebecca Kittle and Laura Blackburn, who will be joining the conversation about collaborative accounting in practice in just a little while. I'll let these two fantastic women introduce themselves at that stage of the presentation, but here they are on the screen now. So that leaves just me, Laura Crean. I am the Senior Partner Program and Education Specialist here in FreshBooks. Um, I'm a Chartered Accountant from Ireland with a background in a plethora of industries, everything from financial services and energy and digital media. But uh, Canada took me in about six years ago, so I haven't left the poutine or Putin since. Okay, let's get into what we'll be looking at today. You may have registered, everybody that's here, welcome again. You may have registered not knowing what collaborative accounting is, but you'll certainly leave here knowing it. But also in the next hour, you'll also be looking at these few things. Okay. So first, again, welcome everyone. I am so happy to be back at Earmark webinars talking about collaborative, collaborative accounting. Our first section is looking at identifying the ideal accounting professional and clients in the world of uh, collaborative accounting. Our second section is all about looking at the framework, the collaborative accounting framework. And this is our guide or teaching tool that you can use with your clients during the onboarding stage. Our third and final section and probably fantastic section, it's we're getting real, okay? It's gonna be Laura, Rebecca and myself, we're getting real about the how the accounting industry is looking for a new and fresh approach of how to work with your clients. What are the steps they took in their practice? And we'll round off the hour by providing you with a overview of the collaborative accounting um, uh, certification, which is in our newly launched FreshBooks Academy. And should you want to know more or just talk to the FreshBooks team, I'll have all that information as well. I have two lovely of my colleagues in, the, um, in our comments right now. So add in and your questions in there and they'll be happy to answer them. Anything that I missed during, this, um, during the presentation or webinar, I'll get answers to you after we're finished and I'll send it by email. Okay, let's get started, okay? Let's get started with the ideal. The first step, folks, to any successful implementation is making sure to identify those whom the framework will suit uh, the most. And what I'm talking about here is clients and you or your practice. So let's start with you first, okay? We'll start with who is, is collaborative accounting right for me? Well, in short, if you're looking to be more innovative, if you're looking to enhance your client experience or user experience, if you're looking to deliver more advisory value, then collaboration or collaborative accounting is for you. 
Since we launched Collaborative Accounting at the end of 2023, and our new certification to go along with that, there's been a wide range of accounting professionals who have been um, uh, certified, which is exciting. The collaborative accounting framework itself, it is ideal for accounting firms or for accounting professionals that want to offer their clients a deeper level of service and those who want to spend a little more time guiding their clients and helping them grow. But unfortunately, these might be the same firms that are feeling kind of constrained when it comes to their capacity. So maybe some of these questions sound familiar. Do you feel like you're chasing data? <laughs> Do you feel like you are looking for the access to a login or another software which has all the information you need for month end for the tax season? Do you feel like you're doing all the front end data entry? Well, you may be wanting to change that and you might be asking how? How, Laura, how do I do this? Well, these are some questions that we've had accounting professionals ask before they take the certification and I'd like to answer them here for you today. Let's get into, but Laura, who will train my staff? Well, folks, we have taken or established an educational approach to getting you or your team up to, um, up to standard here with collaborative accounting. You can do this on your own and train your own team, and we'll give you um, support there. Or you can work with the education team here in FreshBooks because our training combines the uh, collaborative accounting workflow, but also gives you product training as well. So why not have your team complete the certification? The second thing, but Laura, who will train my clients? Well, FreshBooks, and I will say this a few times, and that's why it works so well in the FreshBooks platform. The FreshBooks platform is an easy, use, easy to use and intuitive platform. Each of the sections or the features that we have in there allows for self-guidance. There's videos in there to help them as well and FAQs. Um, but what if your owner uh, needs a bit more help? Don't worry about it. We have help for them as well in accounting software. Like I said, we have FAQs, instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, YouTube videos. And the most important thing, like we all know, there's human support in there with our award-winning support team. Now, on the other hand, if you're like, um, maybe I should set up my client's account, you could certainly do that as well. We have the accountant hub, which allows you, an accountant, to go in, set up their client's account, set up the billing, get the chart of accounts set up, even set up their uh, bank connections as well to allow those um, uh, bank transactions to be imported. All you need to do then, folks, is decide who will be doing each task. And we'll be getting to that very soon in our section two. Our final thing is what changes do I need to make during onboarding? Folks, nothing. You can keep your, your onboarding process. You can keep your client portal. We actually have the materials that you can incorporate them in. And these are the three things it's important for onboarding. We have a client onboarding pack. This includes a checklist for the tasks your client, the business owner, is going to be carrying out. And it gives clear instructions of how they can use that feature in FreshBooks. Then we have uh, the handover document. This will all make sense now when I go into the next section. A handover doc document signals that the client is finished with their work so you can carry on with your work. So this is key. If they're unsure about a transaction, maybe they need to add it in. That's certainly in the handover document as well. Maybe they need your accounting guidance on that. The third thing in the pack is a meeting agenda template. Now, this is all about helping to build those advisory conversations around your next monthly or your quarterly meeting. The key is here, folks, with all the buts and all these questions and things like that, we've created and provided the baseline standard. And you'll see in the next section, in section two, that collaborative accounting is not all or nothing. Okay, so now that we've done or lovely uh, our uh, accounting firms, our accounting professionals, let's talk about the ideal client. So if you're thinking of moving towards uh, adopting this framework, who are the ideal collaborative accounting clients that you'd look at? Let's look at the list here. We have a bit of the checklist that we've seen when we first set up the certification. These are scaling business owners that want to keep that proactive pulse on their financials. These are clients that are looking about where to grow next, and where they need to go next. They might be emerging entrepreneurs, they might be established business owners using FreshBooks already, but they're looking good to go to the next level, but they, they don't want to just utilize you, an accounting professional, just for entering data. 
They want a, a accounting partner who will make the most of the calls with them um, and allow to keep them to keep them involved. So every time they're going with their business and they're working with you. If we got strict on this, uh, some business owner attributes that we are seeing, they are sole owner all the way up to having up to 25 employees or team members. They're generating over 200K in revenue a year. And one key one here is that they're in service-based businesses as well. Speaking of service-based businesses, I'm going to show you, as she adjusts on her chair, I'm going to show you in the next slide, businesses that are finding FreshBooks transformative. Now, I apologize to our lovely people on the West Coast. This is a word cloud, so you might be having breakfast right now. Take a moment. It's more of a, uh, a word blizzard, as you can see right now, but this is a point as we go through this. The collaborative accounting framework was originally thought back in a strictest, strictest form for service-based businesses with invoicing needs. So as you go through this word cloud here, you can see creatives and digital agencies. You can see IT and software and technology. You can see professional firms like accounting firms or law firms. You have health services, and you definitely see some trades in there and contractors. But folks, I'll share something I've learned over the last couple of months since the certification. We've seen some of our certified accounting partners ad successfully adapt the model to other businesses that invoice outside of FreshBooks. So things in health services that need another system, and it's worked so well for them. So what I'm saying again, as we move through our collaborative accounting framework, just in the next slide, you can see people getting certified, getting the framework and adopting. So let's go in and see what I'd be talking about this framework. Let's see what that's made up of. So. What is collaborative accounting? Or more specifically, what is the collaborative accounting framework? Well, in its uh, most easy or uh, straightforward uh, example, the cl collaborative accounting framework shows how accounting partners can best collaborate with their clients and add value by combining technology, so that's the platform, and workflows. That's the task that they're doing inside of there and how you work with them. I'm telling you now, it is not a new feature. I'm sorry, there's no feature launch today. It's like a best of workflow on how both accountants and clients can use the FreshBooks platform together from the very start of their working relationship. And we found that by working together from the start, that uh, from or utilizing the onboarding process, so using your client portal, using that first meeting to the best of the boss, best of its ability, that uh, the accountants and clients can um, discover many benefits, and I will look look at those as well. So, let's just get into it. Client accounting framework. I'm going to start with an overview. So this is an abbreviated version of the framework here, folks. You can see on the screen here that the framework consists of two halves. You've got your pre-accounting tasks and you've got your accounting tasks. So we recommend that the business owner, so that your client, use or completes the pre-accounting tasks. And then once they're finished, the accounting partner comes along and picks off where they leave off. You will notice the two yellow sections. So these are key moments of communication. So let's look at these. That yellow diamond that you're seeing at the bottom of the screen here, that's the client using the handover document, telling the accounting partner, hey, I'm done with my tasks. I may not know what this, where this loan needs to go, but I'm done. You're ready to go and start reviewing. That yellow circle we're seeing right at the top of the screen, this is, the, this is you in your business meeting. It could be a business email or the, uh, a quarterly meeting, a monthly meeting. It could be a, an email um, update that you send to your client. This is use, you using the meeting agenda uh, templates to give feedback and to start the cycle again with some better insights. And you can see here, the more you go around and work together, the better what happens, uh, the better this framework will work and the better you work together with your clients as well. I am going to touch on this handover doc diamond in the uh, in uh, hand sorry this uh, handover diamond in a moment uh, because people not all business accountants or business uh, accounting firms are the same. Finally, on the screen, if you look at the two top things, two parts sitting outside the cycle, we have onboarding. I've mentioned it a few times here. It's what happens. Every accountant needs to onboard a client. 
As we mentioned in section one here, we have provided the materials in our certification, those client onboarding pack, the handover document, and so on. You can incorporate it into your own um, processes or your own workflows with minimal effort. Um, actually, uh, one, one thing that happened when we were testing this and we were testing with accounting professionals, we actually, uh, when we showed them an iteration of, of this uh, um, cycle or this framework here, they said that we should be sharing it with the clients, that we shouldn't keep it for ourselves on how to teach accounting professionals about collaborative accounting. So we recommend that you can use this as a teaching tool um, as well with your clients. The other thing you'll see at the top, you'll see our tax services. We know that there's partners providing tax services. And just like working in FreshBooks today, you can take that output from the framework and you can support this external service. Um, in fact, splitting down the uh, work here, the framework and splitting down the task may actually make it easier, more efficient, which is what we're always aiming for. Okay, let's break it down a little bit more. In this version of the framework, each of these second sections uh, correspond to a task or feature that's in the FreshBooks platform. Now, I know this is still an abbreviated, the free, uh, abbreviated version of the framework. The full details are in our certification, but just to give you a heads up, I am going through one example. It's good to have a sneak peek to know what you're getting into when it comes to the certification just shortly. We'll look at estimates proposals and we'll look at the advisory opportunities that they bring. Okay. I told you I wanted to talk more about this uh, uh, handover diamond at the bo at bottom. So right now, when you're looking at it, you'll see that the diamond is in a certain place at the bottom, right in the middle. So right now, we have recommended, or we recommend here in FreshBooks, that it sits between uh, expenses and bills, and also reconciling the bank uh, task, which is the first task in your accounting tasks. But this changes all the time. This changes for a multitude of reasons as you, uh, as you, uh, for you as an accounting firm and how you do your work. So these are uh, reasons where you might choose to move the, uh, uh, the diamond at the bottom. So in this moment of handover, we've seen people move the diamond backwards um, uh, in order to suit how the accountant works with their clients. They've also moved it because maybe they offer different services. Perhaps you offer a invoicing service and a collection service in your firm. You can certainly move the diamond back for that to incorporate it in it. And finally, you can also move it depending on how much help the uh, business owner or your client might need. Uh, I know there's a meme going around LinkedIn right now at the moment about this very issue. If you pass on a task to your owner, how do we know that uh, it's being done all year round in order to make uh, it um, easier to do your tax work or to do your monthly cycle work? This reason, and like I said before, collaborative accounting is not all or nothing. Being able to move this diamond um, in the certification or, or, or when you're onboarding your client allows for having that clarity and that communication right from the start. It's like the owner like, I can't do expenses. Okay, I'll take over that task and that side. So it's up to you. Okay, I told you I'd give you a sneak preview into uh, the uh, one of the things in the certification. I've talked about there's advisory opportunities everywhere, but now I'm going to prove it. <laughs> so let's take an example of how accounting professionals can provide advisory to their clients in the area of estimates and proposals. So before this uh, section in the certification, we provide a how-to video of how to create, how to send, and how to manage estimates and proposals. So we're giving you that feature knowledge just in case the client what needs a trick or a top tip from you of how to use it. Next, we break down the certification. Who owns this task? Now, I, if you're looking at the screen right now, you've read through, we do give it away. As the client is building relationships with their customers, as they're sharing their services, it makes sense that they would take over or be responsible for all the micro tasks within sending an estimate proposal and converting it into, let's say, invoices or projects or tracking time. But your work, it's not going to stop there. Um, what we're saying here is that we've identified some uh, uh, advisor or some advisory opportunities, um, which won't be a heavy lift that you can add to your range of services in your engagements. So let's take one of the first ones. So you can educate your clients about how to set how sending an estimate or a proposal on a timely basis can do three amazing things. They can showcase your items and services to potential clients. 
They can keep you at the top of the list or top of the minds of your potential clients because you sent it timely. And thirdly, you're able, you're able to um, lock in that sale because we have an e-signature feature as well. So that's one thing you could show them how to do from a product perspective. Next, we have offering insights on costing and pricing. Now, you know that you are seeing management and financial reports. It is the essence of all us accountants to look at outputs and reports. So um, you might notice when you're looking at the P&L that you're noticing the person who's carrying out or the payroll for the employee carrying out a service is almost the same cost as the service that you're putting in the estimate um, uh, or proposal. So you might be going in, hey, maybe we should talk about margins. The third thing that we've talked about is terms and conditions. Now, very important, as we all know, contingency plans are not very much key. They're so important. So they could be losing out in deposits from potential clients, and this could be detrimental to their cash flows as well. So you could come in and just explain to them how to use deposits or how to use a payment schedule or the importance of uh, locking that in if they send an escrow proposal to get that cash flow in order to lock in that sale as well. So if they do, if there is a, 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 a they need to bow out of the uh, proposal, at least you'll recuperate some of that money. So that's just one example here. Every module um, that's in the certification has these, uh, uh, has these uh, advisory opportunities here. And for any uh, of these pre-accounting tasks, so those tasks that are being done by the business owner, if they're, um, there's checklists for the information they need to collect. So for estimates proposals, they'll need to know the pricing of, of their uh, items and services. They will need to know if they're offering discounts and so on and so forth. That will all be ready in the checklist. All you need to do is give them the checklist during the onboarding. Okay, we're about to get into the exciting part of it, but I'm just, I told you earlier that let's talk about some of the benefits that we have actually seen. Um, uh, with people using collaborative accounting. I'll have Laura and, uh, and uh, Rebecca join me just after the slide. So let's see what benefits we're seeing here in week five. So first one we see here, experience. So clients and user experience, I don't know if anybody knows, that was the word of 2023 here in the accounting industry. It wasn't RIS, like uh, they said in the Oxford English Dictionary. It was all about experience. And you've been able to deliver more hands-on and engaging experience for your clients, ones that offer uh, advisory opportunities where you can. The next thing that we have, it's all about pricing. So because you'll be engaging with a broader spectrum of plant clients, you can create an opportunity to increase the overall value of services by adding advisory. Advisory, as it's the word of the hour here, you will now have the capacity to focus more of your time in those catch-up calls, not talking about cleanup, but actually looking at reviews, actually looking at insights. And what this is doing is it's showcasing the value you have to offer from an educational point of view and from that advisory point of view. Next, we have niching. If you can, and I'm a big fan of niching or niching, you can definitely deepen your knowledge within core industries or even be very good at a certain advisory component as well in order to differentiate your practice. So this allows you to build a more profitable business. So thinking quality rather than quantity. And finally, scalability, which I think is the word of 2024, you'll be able to provide those advisory services which support your clients in their goals, whatever they may be. They could be looking to grow and scale. They could be looking to streamline their customers and staff. They could be looking at loan applications. Everything there you'll be able to help with. Okay, I'll take a deep breath here because we're gonna get practical folks. I'm so much looking forward to this. I would like to bring on screen both uh, Laura Blackburn and Rebecca Kizzle. They are both certified uh, collaborative accountants here in uh, with our FreshBooks uh, certification. Um, I love talking to them and I'm looking forward to a discussion with you now. How are we feeling today, ladies? Wonderful, how about you? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Um, currently in the Toronto office here in um, in FreshBooks, it's a bit, a bit loud, but I'm sure this is not enjoying it, not interrupting your um, experience at all. So I just want to get straight into this, okay? I have you both on screen here. 
I'd love for you both to introduce yourselves, your business and your background or even your specialities that you do in the accounting industry. Rebecca, I'll start with you first. Hey, so Rebecca Kittle, I'm the owner of LedgerSense. We're a virtual small business accounting and investment accounting company. Um, my focus in the business is to keep my clients in the role of CEO and just give them my accounting expertise um, and just let them focus on what they're passionate about. Um, but I do have a specialty in real estate. Oh my God, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laura, introduce yourself. Hi, um, so Rebecca and I are both in North Carolina, so not as common as Toronto. <laughs> but, um, I have enjoyed FreshBooks for quite a while. I was actually a service um, business owner using FreshBooks myself before using it as the accounting side. So I had a wedding planning business for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fun fact. Um, so my specialty is working with those service industry professionals, a lot of consulting, whether it be marketing consulting or business coaching, that is uh, the clients that I seem to work with the most in FreshBooks. Amazing, amazing. I'm so glad you're both here today um, to talk about collaborative accounting. So I'll start with that, actually. What was your first impressions or your first thoughts? This could be a word or a phrase. When uh, you heard that FreshBooks was uh, doing something about collaborative accounting and they were launching a new certification, what was your, your first feelings? Laura, I'll ask you first. I'll go to you first with this. One. It was pretty exciting. I felt like it was unique. It's you know a trend that's coming in the marketplace, but I felt like FreshBooks was being very innovative and jumping on that first. Oh, amazing. And what about you, Rebecca? What did you first think? <laughs> um, it's actually the way that I've been running my firm the whole time. So it was very validating. And I completely echo what Laura said. This is what the industry is really wanting right now. And um, um, it's, pulling on that, um, Rebecca, the, the, the working, um, you've been doing this already. That's something we've heard a lot. Like we've mentioned before that it's not a new feature. It's just a way mm -hmm. of working. Do you like working closely with your clients? It is the most fulfilling part of the job, and it's why I, I do what I do. Okay, I love that. That's exactly what I do in FreshBooks as well. <laughs> I remember when we were went through it. Um, this is the brainchild of the head of the account channel, Twyla Verhels, and she uh, when she put forward that we're going to do a certification and go into this. Uh, I definitely felt um, kind of like you. I, I was feeling refreshed, and I know I used to mm -hmm. say fresh a lot. But it, 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 I, it was going to bring like clarity or refreshment because I was looking to change uh, as well. I used to be a finance manager and uh, I was always looking to work better with my clients. I think uh, if you work better, you work smarter. Um, so I was looking forward to putting my head down and seeing what would come out of the other side. Um, Amazing. Um, let's get into the framework itself. So uh, we, I, sh I showed earlier about the collaborative accounting framework. It's broken down into tasks. And also I talked about advisory opportunity. Um, is advisory something that you want to do in your business that you did before collaborative accounting? Um, what is your understanding of, of, of advisory? I'll go with uh, Laura first. <laughs> Um, so advisor services were kind of intimidating to me. I think it was more okay. of a word and just felt the imposter syndrome of I don't know enough. I'm not good enough to help a business owner further themselves. Mm -hmm. But with having the certification and going through the scenarios, it really made me feel more confident that I can now offer these services and use the word advisory. And again, lean on FreshBooks and what we learned in the certification of how to answer those questions that the clients are coming to us with. Okay, amazing. Rebecca, were you also, yeah. <laughs> what were you feeling oh. about advisory? <laughs> I mean, 100%, I'm thinking it was definitely the imposter syndrome. It was something that I think I was actually starting to provide. I, I again, was trying to keep them in that role of CEO. And so I was taking the approach of let me present the information to you. Um, but then- <laughs> as you kind of move into the collaborative accounting model, it was my perspective changed. And it was like, well, what would I want to know if I was this business owner? Um, what What's all this information actually telling me? And so that's where my advisory approach was really coming from. I love that. And and do you think advisory, I know we mentioned a lot, it's like, do you think it sets you apart? Is that a niche in itself? 
um, do we think? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, very much so. Um, like Laura said, I think the industry is kind of demanding that a little bit more, but now once you've been a business owner, you can sit at the table having been the business owner and now supporting the business owner, you can see both sides of the coin. Oh my God, amazing. I love that as well. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna change this up. I'm gonna put this to you, Laura. Um, I'm gonna put this to Laura and I'll explain later um, why. So um, question for Laura, how is it, and let's get practical, how is it introducing clients to collaborative accounting and how was your experience during onboarding? Sure. So with onboarding some new clients, it seemed like using the framework like you had mentioned in the slides mm -hmm. that we don't need to just have that away for ourselves. That image is actually very practical. Some people are visual learners and them seeing that cogwheel of where do I land for yeah. some of, of my clients, it, it is moving that diamond a little bit further up. And I'm doing the invoicing for them or moving it backwards and doing the expenses as well. So it may not always line up right in the middle and we don't have to be scared of that. We can move it. That's the part of the word, right? Collaborative is being flexible with our clients. So it has actually been very helpful to have that framework instead of me trying to explain it in some way and using accounting lingo. Mm -hmm. It has now been like, okay, here's this picture. Here's where we need to land. Yeah. <laughs> it's helpful. Oh yeah, and were you uh, were these existing um, clients or are, as existing clients or new clients to FreshBooks? I'm pretty sure because I've worked with you, but they were existing, were they? Yes, yes, yes existing in that side. And it's always it's 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 different when it's something new, you know. Right. And we understand learning curves and everything. But I know I'll throw back as a person who just is a uh, works in the FreshBooks. I know it seems easier, but I know understand that teaching uh, business owners uh, without using the word debit or credit. I challenge anyone to do that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we do that a lot in support here. Um, it can be difficult at that time, but I like that word flexible that you used. Uh, I like that word clarity because that is the aim. I know I used strictest a few times in the thing, but what we viewed in, um, in and we were flexible ourselves, what we viewed and what we launched in the Collaborative Accounting Certification in 2023 compared to now what we've learned, we've even adapted. We've even been flexible. So I love that. Um, I put this question here because uh, I've talked about onboarding. Is there ever a right time to onboard? It's, it's like I know we're in 1099 season right now and tax season is straight afterwards and this summer and maybe some people in the comments as well. Is there a right time to onboard? Uh, Rebecca, have you felt that? I am uh, pretty much any time's a good time. Um, it can be bumpy. It can be more demanding seasons, but if, especially if you've already done the traditional accounting role, you're very used to, you know, you just are so busy in the beginning of the year. Um, but I, there isn't a perfect time. There isn't really a bad time. Um, I think any time's a good time. Yeah, I like that as well. Any time's a good time as long as you're being clear. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you think, um, um, uh, and I suppose this is a throwback to what Laura says as well, and the moving of the diamond as well, and with the tasks. Do you think in a fresh books, and I'll take fresh books. Um, do you think we're moving towards, or are you moving towards, uh, um, being able to just review the owner's task? Because I've spoken about how easy it is to use in this side. Or do you think there's still a, a, an opportunity to have more education for those business owners? keeping caught atop of accounting tasks to know that they're important so what do you what do you feel about those i'll put them to either or of you yeah it's definitely um, trying to decide where they need to land and again using the word flexible we may start and say yes it needs to be at this point that you yeah. hand over those tasks but you see them falling by the wayside. They're not getting things done in a timely manner to close on time or um, whatever the case may be. So you just have to kind of have that open communication, just like you started with onboarding. Communication is key, right? Anytime that we're trying to work with our clients and knowing if it's working or not working, it's better to like hit it early on, not let it continue to build and become this this huge mess, jumbled mess. And like we talked about, working with the collaborative accounting framework keeps us from having to do cleanup. Instead, we're staying ahead, being proactive in things that we're seeing versus reactive. 
Okay, perfect. Oh my God, this sounds like me. I love being proactive and not reactive. It's like, uh, do I have my both my shoes on before I leave the house? It's always important to start on the right foot. Um, what do you think, Rebecca, about um, um, business owners taking on these in, in these tasks? A bit of education, or um, have you re re uh, reached that review stage with your clients? Um. I actually want to say both. So hit the review stage where I can look over things, but actually I think there's a continued education part of this, right? I think there's always the opportunity for more improvement or efficiency in the business. It just can be too overwhelming, like in the very beginning to say, hey, let's do these 10 completely different things and change how you've been doing it. Like Laura said, like let's communicate and let's collaborate and work together. But at the same time, FreshBooks is coming out with new things and there are new features. So we can always kind of tweak things a little bit to put the emphasis more on like what the goal is of the business and not just simply getting the work done and just pushing out an invoice. Like how can we do it more efficient, clear, and just kind of get it done? I love that. I love that. That's so good. Okay, great. Um, okay. Um, and I'm already hearing some benefits. So um, I'm going to touch off. I did in the previous slide talk about benefits. Now, I can say from um, from a theory point of view that these are the benefits that we see, but I'd love to say I'd love to see or ask you maybe Laura, um, have you been able to uh, change your value proposition um, as a consultant in Breakaway doing that advisory work? Have you been able to do this? Yes, absolutely. So, like I said, it kind of felt at first like I don't want to say the word advisory. I don't want to offer this service. I didn't feel confident in myself and my abilities. But now that I've been through the certification and that continuing education for myself, I feel like I can say that. And I've been able to add that on and um, just feel more confident and give <laughs> off the the um, the pressure to the client as well so that they know that it's being taken care of and um, they can just trust in me that no like and trust factors. <laughs> so um, it has been very helpful for us. Amazing, amazing. Um, let's touch on the uh, certification. <laughs> um, now, folks, you are in the presence of um, two people that are certified. Uh, Laura Blackburn holds the, uh, the title of the first collaborative accountant certified. Rebecca wasn't too far behind, let me tell you. <laughs> But she holds it. So I'll speak to Rebecca first. Um, how was the certification? And I know um, I am biased towards this, but you can tell me whatever you'd like. <laughs> how was the certification in um, in preparing uh, you for like real clients? It definitely gave me a framework to lean back on, but also it helped me speak about the value that I'm bringing to the table a lot more clearly. Um, and it definitely gives like that reassurance to the business owner of, I really, I know what I'm talking about. I don't just know accounting. I also know this system and I know the best way to use it. And that really was very helpful. Amazing. What about you, Laura? Mm -hmm. like my very favorite part, and Laura knows this, is the scenarios. So going through the certification, there are scripts, mm -hmm. if you haven't went through it yet, where the owner has a question and the um, accountant answers. And it mm -hmm. just really helped me again to feel that confidence because I was seeing questions in there that business owners have asked me or that I could actually bring up to a business owner and just practicing. And I've actually used it in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I, I went back to the certification and said, okay, this topic, this issue popped up and how can I address it in a way? Um, almost like using like chat GPT. Okay, what would <laughs> say? It's what would it say? Yeah. <laughs> so it's been very helpful to just use that script. And again, it's that role play of seeing how it would play out in real life. Oh my God, amazing. Um, I, I'll break down, um, we, did talk, we did talk about that. I'd love to, we tested out those scenarios. Um, so what Laura is talking about here, and I know I'll look at the certification, but we have um, for our listeners here, or anybody who's watching, um, each module of the certification is broken down into, into four sections. So it's called see it, 
Try it, <laughs> see it, try it, do it, prove it. Um, so see it is how the feature works. So you'll be able to see um, uh, a how-to video and how to do it, who's responsible for the tasks and what the advisory opportunities are. Then we have the try it, which is the um, aptly named uh, collaborative accounting uh, conversation. So that is what Laura is talking about there. Um, this is uh, looking at, we put dilemmas towards uh, or in front of uh, accounting professionals how would they solve them um, using the FreshBooks features? Um, do it is we're seeing how uh, other people like accounting professionals like Rebecca and Laura here, how they've been using collaborative accounting to elevate their practice. And then finally, we love approve it. Um, we do have review questions at the end. So that's the breakdown. But a lot of people have um, said about the collaborative accounting um, uh, the conversation. So that's good. I like that. Um, OK, um, I have. A question here, I might put this to Rebecca first. Do you think, or in your opinion, again, don't hold my um, uh, lovely innocent face <laughs> aside, do you think collaborative accounting sets fresh books apart from our competitors? <laughs> I do, I really do because it's approachable. It's accounting can be very scary. Um, the idea of having to log into an accounting system can just be very daunting. Um, one of the things I like the most about FreshBooks is that you log in and it just sort of makes sense. You know, right there on the screen, you can kind of see what's going on. And so they're more likely to log in. They're more likely to use it and engage in the system. And then they kind of are engaging with me a little bit more. Um, and then when they ask me questions, I can kind of piece together, okay, I, I know what they're seeing. They're seeing this, like, let me help you. Maybe we do it this way or something along those lines. But I do think that FreshBooks really does help that collaborative model work much more realistically with business owners. Oh, great. Uh, do you mind if I take that as a soundbite for later? That's beautiful. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, amazing. Um, okay. Um, I don't know, Laura, did you have anything to add? Because I, I know I'm going to yeah, start Just off. on that same um, thought is FreshWorks has updated the left bar and it goes right down the framework. So there's no question of mm -hmm. where you start and stop. And that's very helpful. Okay, I like that. Yes, that was uh, maybe a plan because we are our collaborative accounting model is our is our recommended way. But I'll talk later actually about uh, people who um, who maybe are not ready for us, but that's okay. Um, okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Like I had such a good time talking about this. Thank you so much sharing about it. Okay, I will leave you with one thing. If you could share like one piece of advice to accounting professionals uh, watching us here today on collaborative accounting, it could be. They might be hesitant or they might be a bit uh, unsure or anything. Um, what would that be? Um, uh, Laura, I'll ask, I'll go to you first. Sure. So definitely just try it. Just jump in, get your feet wet, try it. It's not, you know, a timed certification. Get in there, work on it. Um, the videos are very quick and very user friendly. Again, the scenarios are actually a lot of fun. So you'll want to watch those and um, just learn. But it's, you'll see that it's very intuitive. Like Rebecca said, a lot of us are already doing this. And so when you're in there reading the certifications and the questions, you're going to say, oh, OK, I get this. I'm already doing this. So don't be intimidated by the lingo again. Um, you can do this. It's quick and easy. I promise. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, what would be your advice to accounting professionals? Same thing that Laura said, go for it. It is engaging. It is not the same type of education material we have all had to go through and we are sitting there wondering, counting down the minutes. It's definitely engaging. It makes sense. It helps and it really helps you get into the perspective of you'll see the value and I think that you'll want to do it. Oh, amazing. Okay. I'll, I'll give my piece of advice. Again, not biased or anything like that. Um, collaborative accounting is not all or nothing. That would be my big thing. And I know uh, we're here to talk you through it. Again, it's not a new feature. It is a it's a way of life. <laughs> um, it is a way of life, but it is a workflow um, of how to use a, a software better. So if you're looking for alternatives or anything, we certainly have a, a way of setting up accounting professionals and your clients for success. And that's my two cents. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me here today um i'll carry on because in case people are more intrigued i will talk to you after this presentation but thank you so much thanks for thank having us brilliant okay thank you joel for that
we'll set these up. They were absolutely wonderful. So they were, they really were. Um, they were very insightful as well. And um, I love when people get to share like practical results. It's not just the theory. It's not just somebody from FreshBooks talking. But well, thank you so much, ladies. Um, if it has left you intrigued, folks, I do have next steps and resources for you. Um, and we'll look at these right now. Okay, so we did talk about the certification. Uh, the collaborative accounting certification includes uh, FreshBooks product training from an accounting lens. So you as an accounting professional get the most out of FreshBooks. But with that, what's running or what's weaved through it are the collaborative accounting workflows. So in case you're ready or when you are ready, you can expand your value and add it uh, to your clients and your firms. So what specifically is in it before you jump right in? We have practical hands-on training. We have those detailed workflows videos. We have those case studies that Laura talked about. And we also have a workbook that you can um, apply to your own business. You got that client onboarding pack, which can be incorporated into your current onboarding materials as well. And you can listen to other accounting pros like yourself talk about how collaborative accounting has elevated their business as well. There are excellent ones there, some great tips. So let's move on here and we are going to, uh, if you're ready to be certified, this is a big thing because what happens uh, when you get certified, uh, we do have plenty of benefits to come along with it. If you're ready to get certified right now, amazing. I know my lovely colleague Maria has been dropping in some links into the comment section. You can put those in there. You can sign up to the accounting partner program at freshbooks.com forward slash accountants. What happens, you will receive a lovely email about details of getting certified from our onboarding specialist, Alana, and you'll, it'll be all how to get started and starting on your journey with FreshBooks. But once you get certified, what happens? Well, for those of you looking for CPE credits, you'll get three of them when you uh, finish the certification. The certification, again, is just over three hours. Um, you'll also receive a digital badge. Um, so this can signal that you are, and I promise you this, a signal that you are a collaborative accountant, a certified collaborative accountant. You can put it on your website, your social media. You can also put it in your email signature as well. What are the other benefits that you had? Well, you have exclusive benefits in here. You get a free premium account, FreshBooks account, and you can use that for a sandbox. You can use that for your own accounting firm because accounting firm is a service business, so it works perfectly with FreshBooks. You also get in a, a dedicated FreshBooks partner consultant. They will talk business goals. They'll talk you through everything. Um, they're fantastic, our team there. You also, for your clients, you get an exclusive discount to pass over to their subscription plans. You get 15% off for that. Uh, it can be applied annually, it can be applied monthly, whatever you need. You get free data migration services as well for, uh, for up to three years of historic data for anybody who wants to get other information in for reference points, for comparisons, they can certainly do that as well. You get included in our, uh, um, our FreshBooks uh, partner directory. So this is if you're seeking to work with existing FreshBooks clients, you can certainly start them off there. And maybe start working collaboratively with them. Finally, and I like to give a throw out to my team, um, uh, access to a dedicated partner support specialist. They are not, we are not just tech support folks. We actually have accounting backgrounds and we're able to work with you as you work with your client in FreshBooks. Okay. If you want to know more about collaborative accounting or if you just want to chat to the team, please use these resources. I know that Earmark are sending out this uh, PDF of this presentation slide afterwards, and these are links you can add. You can chat to us at accountants at freshbooks.com. You can talk about, again, your current business goals. You can read more of our ebook, The Collaborative Accountant. Uh, this is a fantastic insight to break down the theory, break down the practice, break down the benefits. And finally, if you need more information or you need to sign up, you just add collaborative accounting to our freshbooks.com forward slash accountants in order to see who is using collaborative accounting now and how you can get involved. <clears throat> I said I'd take a moment to the side as she leads forward. <laughs> um, if you uh, want to be FreshBooks certified, but you're not ready to adopt collaborative accounting, I know that we've had a few partners come up 
during this 1099 season and during tax season that they, they won't be able to um, take on board or at least to take on uh, or teach collaborative accounting right now, that is completely fine because we're here when you're here. So don't worry about that at all. The great thing about it is, like I said, the certification is product-based and workflow-based. You're getting the best of both worlds, even if you're not ready to take on the workflow base just yet. Um, you can help um, if you do take on the certification if, and, and decide not to go collaborate just, la, just la, yet. You can certainly create that FreshBooks niche as well and work with them. You have our partner directory as well. And you'll also gain all the benefits I mentioned just there about being a FreshBooks certified partner. We also have the FreshBooks Academy. We are expanding out the catalogue of courses in there in 2024. So there's going to be plenty for whatever stage you are with your journey in FreshBooks and with your clients. So as we wrap up this now, folks, I just want to say the biggest, biggest thank you um, to everyone for attending for registering to come on board. We hope we satisfied your curiosity for collaborative accounting. Um, Earmark, do you have a closing message for those uh, that will be getting CPE credits? They'll also share the presentation deck. The only thing left for me is to say that for um, any of the registrants that sent in any questions, I'll certainly respond to you after in async in an email. But until next time, folks, stay fresh and thank you for listening. Thank you, Laura, for a wonderful webinar. And thank you to all of our attendees for attending the webinar. And with that, I will send it over to Blake to close out the webinar. Today's webinar has ended. We hope you enjoyed it. To earn CPE for watching, download the free Earmark app. Scan the QR code on the screen to visit the download page. Open the app and create your account. Use a valid email address where you will receive CPE certificates. Then register for the course. You can search for it by tapping on the magnifying glass icon on the home screen and then entering the name of this webinar. If you're attending the live stream of this webinar, keep an eye out for an email letting you know when the quiz is available in the next few days. Pass the quiz to earn your CPE credits, then tap the button to email yourself a CPE certificate. Stay tuned for more webinars from Earmark. We appreciate you joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.